हाई एवरी वन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दी टूडेज वीडियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू अगेन कंपेयर टू फील्ड वन इज ग्रेजुएट मरीन इंजीनियर वर्सेज अ मकैनिकल इंजीनियर आई ट्राई टू बी ऑनेस्ट वर्ल्ड बोथ द फील्ड माइट बी अ लिटिल बिट बाइस वर्ड मोर्चन नेवी स्टिल ऑल आई कैन से इज अप्लाई योर सेंसेज एंड बी वाइज वेन एवर यू आर मेकिंग अ डिसीजन वर्क ऑफ अ ग्रेजुएट मरीन इंजीनियर इज ऑपरेशन एंड मेंटेनेंस ऑन बोर्ड शिप एंड ट्रबल शूटिंग ऑन बोर्ड शिप कोई मशीन में दिज अ प्रॉब्लम यू हैव टू सॉल्व इट दैट्स वॉट इज जॉब इज वेन यू गो ऑन बोर्ड शिप वर्क ऑफ अ मकैनिकल इंजीनियर ही कैन गेट इन टू रिसर्च एंड डिजाइन प्रोडक्शन एनालिस एंड टेस्टिंग इंस्टॉलेशन एंड मेंटेनेंस Colleges for GME, yes, you can join Anglo Indian Maritime Academy, IMS Goa, Great Eastern Institute of Maritime Studies, IMI Noida, with the MSc sponsorship. For mechanical engineer, you can do B.Tech in mechanical engineering from IITs, NITs, and even some good private colleges. Careers, when you go as a GME, on board ship you go as an engine cadet, then you become a fourth engineer, then third engineer, then second engineer, and then a chief engineer. For more elaborative videos, you need to subscribe Merchant Navy Decoded channel and watch. this series on gme in the playlist section as far as mechanical engineer are concerned your career can be in aerospace automobile engineering oil exploration robotics artificial intelligence information technology research and development the scope is huge and wide hierarchy and salary of a graduate marine engineer in merchant navy he will start as an engine cadet his salary can be from 350 to 750 dollars a month depending on the type of ship and that type of company that you are sailing with so there's a big gap out there that is why as an engine candidate if you have to start and you have to get promoted to a rank of chief engineer it can take from 8 to 14 years depending on the type of company that you are sailing with and also are you sailing on a lng carrier or an oil tanker or a chemical tanker or a bulk carrier or container ship it matters so salary start at 3 to 7 dollars and over a period of time it you can reach up to 10000 dollars on a bulk carrier on a tanker you can go up to 14000 dollars a month and on a lng carrier it can go up to 18000 dollars a month so today the dollar rate is uh, 1 dollar is around 80 rupees so as on a bulk carrier it can be 8 lakh a month on a tanker it can be around 11 lakhs a month on a lng carrier it can go up to 15 lakhs per month on the other hand if you are a mechanical engineer then you go for your gate exams you clear that and then you go for your psus Of course, qualifying gate is not easy, and getting a percent tally above ninety nine is also not easy. But you do that, you join PSUs, you start as an officer as assistant executive engineer with a salary of say sixty thousand to one point eight lakhs. Then you become a senior executive, senior officer or executive engineer. Your salary becomes seventy thousand to two lakhs. It takes around four years. Then you become a superintending engineer or a manager. Your salary becomes eighty thousand to two point two lakhs. It takes five years. Then, as a chief engineer, oblique manager, your salary becomes from ninety thousand to two point four lakhs in a span of four to five years. Deputy general manager, your salary is from one lakh to two point six lakhs. The selection now it's on a selection basis, so you have to better because it's a pyramid structure out here. A general manager salary is from one point two to two point eight lakhs. A group general manager salary is from one point two to two point eight lakhs. An executive director salary is one point five to three lakhs. Well, out here, if I'm talking about PSUs, the salary looks considerably low. But it's around their salary, and the perks associated are really very high. Apart from that, the recognition that you get when you become an executive director of a PSU is huge, huge, huge. So, but it's again not easy to be over here. When comparing, if you start over here, your chances of becoming a chief engineer are say ninety nine percent, ninety five percent, not less than that. But out here, you start as an officer assistant executive engineer. The chances of becoming an executive director. in your lifetime will be very very minuscule again if you don't join a psu and you start working in a private sector you start at entry level you become a junior engineer or an assistant engineer or an intern your average salary is on 3 lakhs per annum you become an individual contributor you become a project engineer quality engineer manufacturing engineer data engineer your average salary is 4 lakhs per annum then you go into engineering manager you become a program manager or senior engineer your average salary becomes 6 lakhs per annum then you get into the director of engineering you become a principal engineer a lead engineer your average salary becomes 23 lakhs per annum then you get into vice you become a vice president of engineering that is vice president of engineering or engineering executive your average salary is around 50 lakhs per annum then you become a chief engineer it's a chief engineering officer head of the department your average salary is around 60 lakhs per annum let's move ahead Some of the companies that hire you for GME are Synergy Group, Mediterranean Shipping Company, Great Eastern, Anglo Eastern, Scorpio, or Fleet Management. 
as a mechanical engineer you get into tar tata larsen turbo godrej mahindra gl limited indianol corporation bhel nhpc and bosch and many more such companies competition in 2022 number of gme colleges approved at dgping were 26 number of seats in this college were around 2108 number of students who took admission was 1293 number of students that got placed were 915 so out of 1293 915 got immediately placed in the same year in various shipping companies so that's the scenario in front of you out here when you go for mechanical engineering uh, around 6 to 7 lakhs mechanical graduate mechanical engineering graduates pass out each year and yes the job scenario is not very good yes if you are in iits nits the percentage of getting placed from the college itself is very high but, but if you are doing from a mediocre private college then chances of you getting placed are very very less and that is why there was an article an old article i am saying it was in 2017 it said more than 60% of the 8 lakh engineers graduating from technical institutions across the country every year remain unemployed according to the all india council for technical education next move ahead similarities between a mechanical engineer and a graduate marine engineer need to work with machines hardships and physical labor are a part of your life aage badhte hain differences immediately differences in merchant navy you face harsh weather sea life challenging and a unique environment out here you become a mechanical engineer you get into offices even factories or even to research and development facilities salaries more in graduate marine engineering as compared to mechanical engineers unless until you are on the top of the ladder which is not everyone's piece of cake influenced by the type of vessels yes if you are on sailing on tankers your salary is more if you are sailing on lng carriers your salary is much more if you are sailing on bulk carriers salary is lesser and also depends on how long your contracts are on what kind of shipping company you are sailing with out here salary is less as compared to merchant navy it depends on again company to company and your salary is round the year over here when it com- when compared to mecha- merchant navy your salary is generally contract based the time you are sailing on ship you are getting paid the time you are on land you are not getting paid but yes there are still a few companies which pay all the year round let's move ahead limited living quarters you are a team of 22 people sailing on a 200 meter long ship or 300 meter long ship that's the space that you have got on the other hand stable work conditions living on land you see less traveling on merchant navy are always traveling right one port then another the days keep changing and no two days on ship are same never away from family less social life this is somewhere i would say this is always a better option <laughs> this is one place where i have no uh, nothing to say much but sometimes your need for money your greed for money you want more and more in life that is where you choose merchant navy or any other field but out in merchant navy this is the biggest challenge staying away from family each time you come after 6 months you see your child has grown up 6 months each time you come after 6 months you see that your father has become 6 months old and you could not see that that's a challenge it's not easy the money that is coming is not easy guys it's not easy you stay with your family and a better social life as compared to a merchant navy guy yes you get long holidays over here can stay at your native place like i am in dehradun this is the clock tower of dehradun but if you are a mechanical engineer definitely you will have to relocate to place called uh, maybe mumbai bangalore hyderabad if not there then maybe ahmedabad or somewhere yeah definitely but yes not long but yes you get festive holidays and diwali you can come back home and enjoy your holidays with your family with your parents but not all the time no fixed schedule in merchant navy there is no fixed schedule guys uh, e- no two days on ship are same some day you are sleeping at night some day it can be that you are sleeping on day your f- schedules will keep changing you are you are traveling from china to japan and from japan you are going to new york your schedule will change sometimes you are sleeping at day sometimes at night it is not a fixed schedule it is not easy but over here it's a fixed schedule a very similar ki bhai raat ko you go back to sleep enjoy time with the family again you start working next day Sundays are off. In some companies, you get off in, on Saturdays as well. Yes. Finally, for mechanical engineer, wants to join Merchant Navy. Give, give exam and join a good college for GME. Do your cadetship. Give ME your class four and become an engineer. If you want to watch more videos on this, please go to Merchant Navy Decoded. Subscribe the channel. Go to the playlist. Watch the graduate GME playlist, and you'll get all the ideas over here. And yes, in the end, these are the package: Dreamer package, Visionary package, Achiever package, Electrical package available on. the website called merchant navy decoded 
today thousands of graduate marine engineers not just that fourth engineers third engineers marine engineering students are benefiting from these packages where you become closer to the ship the knowledge imparted by the best maritime tutors and they are there to help you help you grow and learn with this all i can say is thank you very much jai hind jai bharat jai mata